here. He is the OG Rayman. All these, all these other people coming in. Yeah, they're pretenders they're to the, the throne. <laughs> this is exactly. the man. Pierre just plays whatever he wants, and it always works because he's really just the goat. Love to see it, but now Pierre strikes back with the gauntlets. Oh, downstairs off the stage. No, 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 oh, no, no way. No way. Is that Already? It? Yes. That's, that's a five second KO. Are you serious? He's able to get his weapon. That stomps there, and just like that, the game is even. Oh, the power ups. The We've seen this, this before. The solidarity power up. <laughs> The last time he's rocking the the moon walks. There it is, that Ooh, downsing. Three oh, off of the downsing. Oh, that's it. That's it. it. Oh my god! I'm in trouble here. Finds the dodge read though, as you were saying, that can be so devastating on these guitars. And another Jeez. punish on the signature, nice. and all all of a sudden, Pierre's equalizes everything up, and Rage is out of here. Guitar neutral. Oh, he down the wrong way. Pierre's holding out the stock though, and Paul is really uh. What? Well, uh, okay, so you were talking about how the neutral air stops your momentum. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. That's a yes. great example. Oh, you love to see the weapon throw combo. He hit him with the goop troop. Ooh, and he's still going. Neutral air, neutral sig. Impala just barely avoids getting scathed by that. And now pick up guitars. Goes for the double D light. Side light. Down oh! air, sir. Pierre, is that it? Oh! That's oh! it. Oh, you love to see it. That was so nice. Probably should try and take a, bit, a little bit more stage control, but just gonna try and play that more aggressive game. Uh, mm -hmm. He is, bro, let him play. Please go for that neutral sig as well. Get down there, man. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah bro. Hi. Very uh, nice. Yeah, you, yeah, exactly. X term is not lying there, not lying there. Nair into dare? Nair into dare? Oh. 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 Ooh. Oh. Oh, Pierre, I see. Oh, Pierre, Pierre, Pierre. I see it. It's, it's so clear. Wait, it's, well, it's, so clear. it's so clear to me now. It's so clear. Yeah, it's very clear. They need to build up some damage quickly. Or maybe get an early oh, start no! by Dio. We see a clash. What? It's, that is so good. worth it. I just, mm -hmm. I just made like a thousand people just die off stage. A thousand? You know there's only a hundred people watching, right? They're going to tell their friends? Yeah. Pierre. Okay. Dude, he did not get that, touched. That's a... Are you kidding me? Game number three here. It is two overrated so far. Pierre trying to open it up with some damage, but it is staying primarily even the down. You serious? Is gonna steal Radish's fate. Hey, oh, okay. Maybe can't side light. light. Touches back down though. Mm. Oh, turns up. Oh, oh, that the three, that the three pieces coming. <laughs> Everybody Pierre getting like right now. He's looking like the man with the iron fists here with those big old gauntlets on, just throwing out bombs. Wait! Wow, at that, the easy Did cleanup! Oh. You guys gotta confirm! Oh my goodness, back and forth, back and forth. They're making me dizzy, bro. I know. I saw the damage on Red Team 2, and the cannon came out. I was getting worried, and I think we found it exactly why. But the reversal, Gucci oh. going down. Oh no. Oh no. Not like that, bro. He's able to get back up. Here we go. We're going to see that 2v1 fight from Perez. See what he can do against the powerhouse that is Pierre. And Dog getting tossed up to the top of the recovery. Ooh, a little, oh. little uh, gravity kill the side sig and gets his teammate there. Uh, not too bad, though. That's going to go and confirm. And that is going to confirm the set. Congratulations to them. Now you there with the side of Grandpa. Doesn't get the side sig he was looking for. But there is going to be a more on top of that punish. Sider is going to close off the south and that edge guard. And Pierre is sitting comfortably on the orange of the second stock. Meow needs to get a weapon here and he needs to get cooking. The pot is stirred, the ingredients are on the table, the double side light comes out, but it wasn't the right recipe and he's now off stage with a lot to work with. Downer comes to a second downer, he's going to have to stuff out this recovery here, he does. Pierre still touches the wall though, he makes it back. Downer coming out from Pierre and he's turning it on his head, takes the lance back up, goes for the confirm, doesn't find it, and Meow takes full advantage. Pierre still touches oh, the wall. The Meow can't. And he's with this game. Let's see what can do. with a side the not going to do anything. We have Nerex getting hit by Nerex and like, like a throw to Sarah for those guitars. And then a clash holla from 
Kasar Nair and Spear Recovery. We take the first dog off with Nerex. Nerex now in the second. Oh. Oh. Pierre, bro. Pierre showing no mercy to Nerex right now. Pierre showing no mercy to Nerex. Nerex finally kicking him away. But Pierre gets some good damage in with those guitars, with the guitar down sig. And now we have him trying to confirm the set. Trying to make sure he can get the three stock. Oh my gosh, the reach coming out for Pierre. And he's still inflicting damage upon damage. And then a point blank ground pound is going to secure the three stock. And he's not going to get that punishment on Sider. He will, however, get that there. Oh, Delight. Oh. Is he going to be able to sneak back in? Not oh. after that, though. Nair's fine once again. The GC sideline does not connect. The punish is there, Pierre. Oh, my God. Oh. He ground pounded. This is phenomenal. Oh, my God. Dancing. Bro, what are you talking about? This is phenomenal. I told you I'll do the ad libs. Radish, a stock up up here. He needs to take it, bro. I suck. I bro, Radish, I are you my hair. Oh my god. When I talk about my hair, I get mad. I'm not casting. When I start casting, my casting sucks, bro. Just fire me. Whatever, bro. It's duel here. Both of these players very specialized with axe, and the damage is so even. Oh man. Oh, tricky down throw from Pierre. Just to fake him out. Anonymous Alex loses it. And he does it again. See oh, that? Wait, I don't... Anonymous Alex is in, in trouble. He's taunt? sweating. He can't make Ooh. it back. Dog popped up anime fan. Anime fan took less knockback than Pierre because they had less damage and then was able to get a recovery after it. That was such like an unfortunate team assist. Oh, yeah. And there's the KO as well. So clean. As I say that, he gets a little three-piece, finishing off with the neutral sig of his guitars there. He's looking good as he's getting Pierre down in the red. I mean, if I was Sandstorm, I wouldn't even mind getting knocked mm. out by that side sig right there. Best to secure the stock. The sand will not connect. And Pierre going for the clip like no other. Ended up SD in the process, giving Blue a second win. And Blue with the taunt himself. Pierre on these guitars once again. Sayer won't reach. Recovery coming out from Blue. Uh, 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 uh. It's, oh. it's very uncomfortable seeing people get stared by that weapon. <laughs> That's just a needle, right? Oh, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what I think the trade off for how hard that move is to hit is that it is Kaya's fastest move. Like, if you're good at it and you're precise, you're right. going to catch somebody off guard. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're on Small Fortress Alliance for game number five. <gasps> and that ground pound is going to be a no, quick start. Dude. Oh my gosh! I mean, Lovey has a, has a pretty good lead here. Never the mind. The game is even. <laughs> Never mind. When you said it, when you said it, the only change was that Pierre got one more hit. What do you mean? Never mind. <laughs> Can't use it anymore. Oh, it kicked away. And Paul tries oh, to get Pierre, recovery. Man, Pierre has missed a few opportunities to grab a weapon. Oh, there. Weapon throw. Side oh, air. Oh, that's Weapon too much. Throw. Paula, much. can you make it back? GG! Pierre wins it! Maybe. I don't know, bruh. I don't know, bruh. Neutral sink. Neutral sink. Oh, he would have done it! Shut up, yeah. He should have. He should have done it. Yo, it would have worked. I think. Mean, watch. Next time, next time, Pierre will do that for you. Oh, Rondo throwing it deep with the assist from the side. <laughs> Down sig not gonna touch Pierre nowhere close. I mean, it was pretty close. Pierre didn't just move. Pierre just didn't move in though. We do have Truck still. The down sig being perfectly dodged. Truck stop just trying to get a hit and just trying to take a stock. And Pierre just won't let it happen. Truck stop giving up, turning the other way, knowing that the match was over. But he finds a dead, a recovery. Oh, oh. accidentally KOing Sandstorm. That's the axe tech. Landing axe tech will knock out with your recoveries. <laughs> Common for axe. If you like ground power, but yeah, will secure it. Able to get him with the DC on the side, but he got caught for it this time from Luna. However, after that, Pierre, wait, Pierre is going up there again. Pierre wasting no time. D light ground pound is going to potentially get the weapon, uh, get him oh, out. No, but he sneaks in there. Pierre's so good at picking and choosing when he wants to go aggressive, and that's throwing Luna off. He's trying to catch him, right? Like that gravity cancel end sig. If Pierre went aggressive, Luna touches back. He gets the chase dodge and everything, but 
now he's going aggressive against Luna. I don't say this often early on because I think it's uh, a little bit too early to write off anything, but Pierre is playing like a champion. Like he's playing like he can take this, this whole thing. It's not very often you see that type of style, but just look at the way he's controlling Luna. He's up two stocks on him, dude. That's just, that's just how it's always gonna be, man. Oh, he wanted that. He wanted him destroyed, bro. He wanted him on a t-shirt, but not gonna end up landing it. Yeah, absolutely. But Pierre is looking so much more comfortable in this Asuri. It's a DC connects, catching that gravity cancel. He's going all the way out with Get the and finds me. the ground pound. He's just all over once in that final one. Blue unable to secure the win before Pierre took the grand final. Now we have Pierre getting all this damage with those Katars. It's not going to reach Blue. Unfortunately, we have Pierre right now just trying his best to end out the stock. And Blue is now on his last stock. Pierre looking at potential three stock and doing the retaunt on top of that. Oh my gosh, this man is di openly disrespecting Blue right now. <laughs> my bad. My head hurts. <laughs> Find someone else to cast with me. <laughs> Down my recovery sends him up. It won't yeah, kill though, the Nair taking almost a lot of damage. I mean, this he's on reminiscent. So he's not gonna this be is kind of reminiscent of our earlier sets, though, because, uh, like we mentioned, Meow is that comeback player, and he has, uh, usually seems to be playing from a deficit. Does he have what it takes to play behind from uh, against Pierre, though? We see the three hit come through there, but I mean, Pierre he is the god at playing back behind. So, yeah, he is probably just like Faith is the best offstage player, and Fakey is the best onstage player. I feel like Meow is the best player from a deficit. Um, yeah. I honestly thought that would kill. I did too. He has he not is touched going the ground yet. Crazy with the the yeah. last. What Completely the hell? Completely torn apart. Now finally evening this up so much. Although Pierre oh, snap. with a weapon throw of his own. Another one. Oh, 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 oh wow, he touched. Oh my goodness, that was Good crazy, job. dude. Luna holding on to the recovery. That's what I was waiting for. And since we didn't see any stars, it meant that he was gonna survive that one. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Punish. Oh man. Oh Weapon man. Toss. Okay, he's sitting on the corner, was likely looking for the downlight. You saw if Pierre went a little bit lower, but another recovery. <laughs> Pierre. Pierre managed to make it back to stage. He does get hit by a ground pound. Ground pound's not gonna hit. Oh! Oh! Blue managed to take Pierre out, but does have to take himself out in the process, I guess. Pierre's getting a little stylish with it. Really get at that last stock on, stock on Sarno right now. Oh my god. Dropping missiles on his head. Weapon throw is gonna miss. Ooh, that's not though. There it is. That Nair just didn't quite have enough momentum. That will though. What a recovery of front Pierre. Nice save going out from Pierre as well to take the first lock off of Hazen. Okay, Pierre getting all these hits in, trying to confirm it with the instinct. Unfortunately, he doesn't hit Hazen. Hazen going further away from him just in time for him not to get hit. But we saw Pierre trying to confirm the socks here. Doesn't get the recovery either. We have Hazen missing the inlight. We have Hazen missing punishes right now. Getting the recovery and getting the going for a ground pound. Unfortunately, no options. He goes down. Good too. This is insane slander from you. Nice. The top two weapons. He's, he's playing he's the top giving, two weapons. He's giving multimum. He's giving Multimum. Okay, and you're giving Muted. Multimum Katars, if you guys know, you know. A little bit of Zalox to be sprinkled in there. Okay. I'm more so giving Ariel. Alright, bro. I've brought the, the Blasters Apologist out in chat. His bro, end light you, Ensig has can not you missed move? yet. Okay, the dare's not gonna hit. Oh, we have Pierre still trying to inflict some type of damage onto Nerex before he can get his weapon. And he succeeded in doing so, but Nerex with the point like ground pound. Not going to sit off stage. And we do have Pierre. Now he's godless. That's in like ground pound right afterwards. And Nerex with seemingly no options. Right there. And that's going to do it. GC D line recovery confirms KO. And we have Pierre having a one stock lead against Boomy.
Man, look. Ooh, that one oh, a stop in the recovery cost. with the with the neutral sig? Hey dog, I thought he was out of there. That was yeah. clean. On like he's trading back and forth every now and then, but it's still just like so much momentum weighted towards Luna. Exactly. You need when you win uh, when you went out in neutral, you need to make it work. He got two hits out of it that time at least, but most of the time oh. it's been one. But that's gonna give him the lead. Pierre's setup is good, but I don't know if I like the color. I think I do, but I can't tell. Cause I, I know I like this I know I like this lance on the skin. I know that. And the blasters, they could be better. But I think he's cooking. I just don't know about the color. I'm not sure. Sunset is like low key fire. It's like it's hard to make work. Like you have to be a chef to cook with it. I oh know they're playing chess. Welcome to brawl. Wait, what do you do if Pierre picks up an arm? What weapon do you play? Oh, that's true. He didn't. Wait, I don't think he talked about that. Wait, maybe that's yeah. the, the that's the thing he wasn't letting that Pierre in on. Right maybe he's in Pierre's head right now. He's making back up this lead though. He was down a lot, but now it's pretty much not even. Oh yeah. my god! That was an insane end sig. <laughs> why? Why are you just consistently lying? <laughs> like no, nothing you're saying is true. Power. I throw. I for one, no Bodvar takes no. This guy is trolling. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing too clean, he's hitting the combo too true. Why is Remy speaking to Remy like this? Bro, contrast, shouldn't you be making up with your mom? Isn't she angry with you Side being useless? does not kill. I mean, Megzi's pretty much won this game. Never mind. You guys do not respect Pierre. Next down, whilst he's trying to make that back up, is Pierre. He's looking to push him into the orange already. There we go. Side light into the end light. Mm. Into the end sig. The Qatar sigs on this character. Incredibly, incredibly dominant here. And Wads, once again, trying to regain stage control. Oh. Uh -huh. No, you said a man. Double he's slap. Just... One finale to take Ghostly Online Championships for himself. They take the 1v1 crown. Well, I have to give everyone else the final list rules. Oh, beautiful strength. Size six not gonna reach, but the insect does, and we go to game five. How would I lose? Dude, you're not him, bro. I'm oh better. no, Snowy is a troll. I was gonna get kind of bad once he lost that first stock because Boomy is is that type of player that piles on, and yes. he's really good at getting yes. extra credit. Oh. Big dare right there almost was enough. Still, though, no, Boomy is able to make it back on stage. Goes for the end sig again. That was a little bit bold. Nice recovery into the gauntlet recovery once again. Looking for the KO confirm option. Dodges right there. And that's going to do it. That weapon drop away from Pierre. Now armed up with the gauntlets. Trying to push Radish off of the side of the stage. They both return to the middle. But Radish has got his orb. He's done so well with that orb today. Oh no, he can't make it back oh. here. Yeah, I see. Here, trying to find the edge guard here, but Sysig will kill him from the middle of the map. Alright. Pierre, there's his truck. Pierre got the guns, but trucks Lance seeming just not proving to be effective against Pierre right now. Uh, 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 truck with the SD! Right, Fend your Mordex, and so, like, Boomy's definitely accustomed to this matchup, you know, for sure, so I feel like Boomy should be able to, you know, definitely adapt and use a lot of skills prior to cancellation of this matchup, though, but Pierre just did so good at overextending, hitting the stair at the top of the map, and somehow takes down Boomy. All of a sudden, this game is almost completely even. They're both slowing down the pace of the match. Whiffing like that is a bad idea. Pierre is able to get in there, able to get a couple of hits, and now has stage control, has no weapon in hand either, and gets that pickup. But, okay, oh, I... oh, oh, what a beautiful Sam. Pierre with the good there to recovery, get some good damage there. Oh, you have Nerex, failing to get the down line. It got double recovery into an Insig. Into a ground pound. Into another ground pound. Pierre in light, taking Nerex out immediately. About to try to close this out. It, it is Ice Throw and Lil Capped who are currently having a, an issue trying to find a game to take here. Oh no, that is not the way to start. Game is going pretty even so far with Pierre a slight lead. Nice side air from the Lance. Bakes up the jump with uh, the weapon throw and gets the end on the turnaround. Weapon 
Ortho pushes back even further from the map, and the oh, tower is gonna confirm that edge guard. Yo, I didn't bro. know he had a rock. It's bro, Pierre has an everything. Not trying to let that happen. Picking up the sword once again. Weapon throw, but the end light doesn't go through. We have Pierre catching a good read. Doesn't get the end light recovery though. Or oh, we have Blue trying to s slow down while Pierre trying to pick up the pace on this match. Speeding up his gameplay, getting all this damage and onto Blue. Already has him in the orange. Now has him going into red. It's an instant. Okay, Pierre catches on some good hits. Good hits. Got a good read in as well. Doing pretty good for himself. We do have Pierre. Down six not gonna hit anyone. We have Derek's. He's the side sick. The instinct's not gonna do anything. If the stare comes out for Pierre, it will be enough to secure the stock. Nerex is able to get the chase dodge to make it back. Player Pierre taking in number one. Oh man, unfortunately gets in the other way. Oh, I didn't even have the chance to fight oh, Boomy. Nice. The weapon toss, Snowy. He's waiting. He doesn't have the movement though. Pierre. A little bit of a reset to down in second stock. He has a bit of peace of mind trying to focus on getting his first stock off of Playdish. And Blast is a good way to do it. Derek can set up the bottom. Sarah can set up the side recovery. Can set up the top. Look how far Sarah Sands dares into the weapon throw. Pierre. The damage. Weapon toss sends Hardy and Jay just barely getting away from that neutral light. Ooh. Somehow. Oh! oh! Beard just throws out the raw side signature to clean that one up. This is the end of the player staple. That is what you can come to expect. The third one attempted. Pierre finds a dodge read and punish to uh, to respond. However, once again, Rob's holding onto the center stage control and Pierre's rushing to move here back. Yeah, he's, he's just having no luck getting back on this stage. Oh, wait, am I gonna jinx it? Oh. Am I a liar? Is my pants on fire? No. Oh. Oh my, yeah, you're, see it, bro. You're done. See it, bro. <laughs> that was sick. I know, I'm, I'm interested to see if Pierre loses this game, if Java's able to bring it back to Pink, because I'm really interested to see who Pierre switches to being down the set. I don't see it being down like that. I don't see him staying on the court. Oh. It's, it, it's a winner side Ooh. game. If able to go ahead and confirm it. Nevermind is not my drip. Oh, that is hideous. Actually, it matches the pants. All right, I'll let him cook. I'll let him cook. Luna, Luna's like scheming right now. I'm trying to think about it. Don't even think about it, Luna. Look, it matches the pants. That's hard. Low key? Low key is not bad. Low key is, whoa. Okay, Pierre? What? That okay, was perfect. I'll, I'll let you know when two happens. The way he used that was so perfect. That was so hard to react to. It was like optimal timing, optimal positioning. But now two stocks left to cut through on Orange Team for Red Team to make it to Grand oh, Finals. Pierre, he's in a bad he's situation. Finish the job right now. Oh, oh Pixels away. Wow. But the match is over. Here Art comes rebuttal? Zinker. And Zinker, I mean, he's uh -oh. still, he's got to still be feeling the effects <laughs> yeah, of that first especially stock. These game. gauntlets have to be trifling for Zinker because he, oh, yeah, the yeah, downstick. He's, he's looking especially. at that downstick like he's weak. The sound alone probably <laughs> triggers him <laughs> right I now. If I can avoid that downstick, maybe I'll <laughs> make it through this match okay. He's definitely holding his own here against Pierre now. Uh, this time. And uh oh, wait, off stage? oh, careful! Nice dodge away. He is he is avoiding the oh. big damage from Pierre. But you know what? Pierre's still landing hit after hit. Oh, oh. no! He dodged the weapon throw, but it didn't matter because he ran out of options. These blasters from Pierre might not be enough. I know this first stock, oh, but who no. knows? Maybe it is. Simba is gonna lose that first stock. Pierre is at the. Uh, Red stock lead in this two-one set. Simba is so far playing so different. So although they are at a deficiency right now, it's already looking a little bit better for them. Hackle, I think you were right to have that faith. They're still not getting red, and also, yeah, they're just so much more bold off stage. They are able to stand up players off stage. Oh, maybe not. But you were wrong. Oh, what you the wrong. hell? I forgot, you know, now that I'm looking at her again, I definitely forgot that I do play Diana as well because of Laura Croft too. <laughs> yeah. Crossover. So yeah, another character that I really vibe with. But unfortunately, you know, that vibe might be uh, ending soon, man. Almost getting swept up by that uh, gravity cancel side stick and sent out of there. He was really close to that blast zone already. Only in orange has barely been able to get a hit here on Pierre. Yeah, Pierre's actually adding up quite a bit of damage pretty safely as well. Going to give a lot of respect again. That bow commands a lot of ground space, but the end sick thrown out. Pierre doesn't Ooh. cover the active input and said, Oh, the mix up. Which side's he going to be on? Just cross ups for days. Oh, uh, man, Simba's got to be careful. Team. That was looking like an early KO on Simba there. Oh, and the recovery hits. 
Pure oh, gets away. Uh -oh, the grab pal comes through. Double grab pal. Oh. Another one. Simba's down, and that's a really early stock for Hardy MJ. Oh, and Pierre. but. Nice, nice, nice. Whoa. I killed. I think Lord Rex needs an error. Bro, contrast is my casting is so bad. Why don't you do it? Save yourself some money, huh? You do it. Honestly, no, I like that. I'm with Remy here. Side air. Nah, I'm not with Remy actually. I'm trying to get paid. We're not getting paid for this one. Oh, he pays me in other ways, but. But it looks okay, I, let's not go into it. Yep, yeah. tournament. Sai Sig gonna come through again. I like how the score was 2 1 and you said, let's cast the last game that you knew he was gonna win and he's about to 3 stock him. <laughs> <laughs> See it and how he's just moving around. He's already he he, he knows he's got this. Then there to clash out the weapon oh, throw as well. He's, already he's won. just playing he's already weapon won. throws, and the D Sig to secure a clean two yeah, salt rookie to Pierre. You're not him, bro. No, what is wrong with you? Moving back down, but he hasn't found much in a way of a comeback in terms of damage right here. And Simba. Doesn't need too much more to secure this knockout. The ground pound is ambitious, and Simba's in trouble. The side air, and Pierre's gonna <laughs> sneak it out from under him. Simba just wasn't ready for the commit off stage. You got this, bro. Oh, dare to dare. Is cringe. this a true combo? <laughs> that's a little cringe, but whatever. The game five is imminent. Yeah. Photo. Yeah. Unless. Yeah. This is looking like a game five here, unless. Well, Unless the pure call, miracle wins. Call, <laughs> he was sweating uh -oh. from the sidelight. I've never seen that. That was that was awesome. Uh, <laughs> no encore. <laughs> That's all you get for me, so folks. Good. Okay, ready? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, Whoa! all right. Your song was good, but it was not nearly as good as Pierre's slide charge side. He's got that hammer that was untouched. Oh, oh! but Pierre with the massive down sig is already gonna take his stock. Tries to use the GCN sig to make it back. What a rotation for Pierre. Yeah, he knows what, what he likes. No way! No. Uh -oh. What in the world, dude? That was wild. What happened? And dude? it worked. Whoa, wow! Whoa! 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 Why do you ever stop playing this legend, dude? He is Rayman. He is. He is the OG Rayman. All these. All these other people coming in. Yeah, they're pretenders they're to the, the throne. Pre this <laughs> exactly. is the man. This is the man of the Ray. <laughs> and you might think that's Raidish. No. No, even though that would make a lot of sense. Oh, okay, yeah, well, it? fade away. Oh, oh what? My, it no. was the How bait. did he get the ultimate bait? Wait. Oh, man. Yep, I was expecting boxing gloves to come out, but no. Goes for the ground pound. Can Pierre claim another stock? That would be that would be way. That would be too much, dude. That's you, like worth his weight in gold let, if he does that. Yeah, when your opponent's team is just one game away from winning the tournament, you can't let them get two stocks ahead. That's just too much momentum to come back from. Oh, and he bats away the ground pound attempt uh -oh. by Phase on and the man. Look, he had to pull out the telescope. telescope. No, I mean no, he please. was just trying to see how far away he was. So far uh. away he needed the telescope. Missing yet another Sarah just trying to find a way to inflict some damage. Alright, nice re coming out for Pierre. He gets the ground pound afterwards. Unable to get the second one. Blue unable to get the down light ground pound as well. And Pierre taunting on Blue. Managing to get the ground pound to take him out. Well, now we have Pierre. So in those Kazars once again while Blue's responding. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on here. In line to recovery. Oh, Pierre got a good dodge read. Definitely looking up to pick up the pace here going into this game number three. Not trying to go out. Oh, oh. It's close. Uh, never mind. Actually, that was it was uh, close last time when Kubichu almost beat Luna. Never mind. That's not completely true. But we are here in winners finals. We got Pierre already starting things off, and this is un not unfamiliar territory. He's been fighting unarmed a lot today. Yeah, he's very comfortable starting it off unarmed against his opponents and then building up that damage down to connects Luna not gonna get the first stock he's not gonna get the wall touch I think they're just waiting for Kag to approach oh he's like no nah, I'm gonna go down here a little bit and mess with you guys ah! <laughs> down air right into Pierre's axe toss I think that was the time to risk it for the biscuit right. he could have gone for another ground pound he could have gone for his side air but he came back up thinking that he would catch Pierre on the edge guard. Let's see if it costs him, uh, because Pierre has been getting a lot of damage off of this, and that Nair almost pushed Impala further off the stage. Uh -oh. He was already in exclamation points. Uh -oh. Weapon throw hits, double uh -oh. weapon throw. Impala. Oh, no way! 
Battler's so sick, he got his jumps oh back. Here God. goes down okay. and finishes wow. it. Put on him. I mean, like, that double unarmed dare just screams confidence. Now, Luna mm -hmm. is just, he's playing like a man on fire, and he is getting hits, but Pierre turns it around, and Luna is down to his last stop. You have absolutely got to be kidding me. But, uh, that axe looks abnormally large there, Hackle, doesn't Woo! it? It really does with that battle at previous oh my gosh. skin. And right now, Pierre just going crazy with the unarmed, doesn't even need the axe. He's still going. He's Here's still going. Pierre. I still no. I I have a nickname for Pierre. It's also the Airbender, as well. Because I mean, with the way he kind of plays with unarmed, with the way he how he kind of plays with axe. I mean, he's done this for for months and probably years that I've known him. So we'll kind of see what happens. Nice sider coming in from Sandstorm onto Pierre. No. Tries to do the grand kids little side light in the ground pound option, it looks like. And Pierre was able to get out of that, get the gauntlets, do the neutral light, having Sandstorm off that ledge. The jump grab pound land, but Sandstorm is not out yet. He picks up that sight, but Pierre says otherwise. Neutral light comes in. Okay, this is what I did wrong in game one. I'm going to adapt now, and I'm going to be able to hold on to this lead and really make it work for me. Again, Luna stuck on this edge. Pierre doing such a good job of forcing Luna to these edges. Luna backs off, but he's finding no purchase. Oh, he's getting man. no momentum. Oh, man. GCD sig? No, oh, just a dare. Another hit, and that's a stock. Pierre.